Today, our heroic Planet Explorers team, Rocket Rex, Wise Will, and Smart Sarah are setting off on an incredible adventure to Mars. The Red Planet awaits, and who knows what mysteries it holds? Let's join them and find out. Team, are we all set for Mars? It's known as the Red Planet, and I've heard it's full of exciting secrets. I'm ready to blast off and explore. Mars is fascinating. It's the fourth planet from the sun, and is called the Red Planet because of all the iron oxide, or rust, on its surface. And guess what? Mars has only about a third of Earth's gravity, so walking there will feel super light, almost like bouncing. Then let's get ready to bounce around on Mars. Three, two, one, let's go. And so, the heroic planet explorers launch into space, heading towards the exciting, mysterious planet, Mars. Mars is incredible. The ground is so red and dusty, but it looks so empty. There are no rivers, lakes, or oceans like on Earth. Exactly, Will. Mars is extremely dry and temperatures are freezing cold at night. But wait, look over there. It looks like some plants were growing, but they've dried out. Could it be that they're struggling because there's no water? Aha, uh -huh. we've got our first Martian mission team. We need to figure out how to help these plants survive. Maybe if we can find some water, we can make the ground here a little more like Earth. Hmm, but water isn't easy to come by here. The atmosphere is so thin, and any water on the surface would evaporate or freeze instantly. We'll have to think of a clever way to protect the plants once we get the water. How about we search underground? There could be frozen water hidden beneath Mars' surface. If we can bring some of it up, maybe we can create a little habitat where plants can grow. Look over here, guys. This cave looks promising. Let's head inside and see if there's any frozen water. We found it! There's frozen water down here. If we carefully bring it to the surface, we can use it to help the plants. But remember, we need to keep the water from evaporating too quickly. If we cover the soil, it'll trap the moisture and create a tiny greenhouse effect to keep the plants hydrated. All right, let's get some of this ice up to the surface and start building our mini greenhouse. It's working. The plants are absorbing the water and coming back to life. This experiment could mean a lot for Mars. If we can create protected green spaces, maybe one day we could grow real food here. Imagine future astronauts having fresh vegetables grown right here on Mars. All right, Mars mission complete. Let's head to our next destination. With their mission on Mars complete, our brave team heads back into space, this time setting course for the moon. Let's see what adventures await them there. Whoa, the moon feels even lighter than Mars. Look how high we can jump. The moon's gravity is only about one-sixth of Earth's, so we're practically weightless here. And take a look around. The ground is covered with craters, and our footprints will stay here for millions of years because there's no wind to blow them away. Hmm, I'm picking up strange signals here. The electricity on the moon's surface seems to be flickering in some areas. That could be a big problem if we try to build a base here someday. We'll need a steady power source to keep everything running. Maybe we could use solar panels to capture the sun's energy. The moon doesn't have clouds, so it gets direct sunlight most of the time. Then let's set up a solar panel here and see if it stabilizes the power flow. It's working! Now we've got a steady source of power! This could make it possible for future astronauts to set up a base here. Imagine living on the moon, with solar energy powering everything. Mission accomplished. Mars and the moon, two worlds explored, two problems solved. Let's head back and share what we've learned. 
Today, the Heroic Planet Explorers team found water and helped plants grow on Mars. Then, they solved a power issue on the moon using solar energy. Amazing discoveries. Every time we explore a new planet, we learn something valuable. Maybe someday, these discoveries will help humans live on Mars or the moon. Where should we go next, kids? Jupiter, Saturn, or maybe even a comet? Let us know where you'd like us to explore next. Remember, there's always more to discover in space. Stay curious and keep exploring.